Hi, I am Dr. Felice Gersh, and I want to talk about a new series that's in the medical journal Lancet on menopause. The key focus is to trend away from looking at menopause as a medical condition and to stop the over-medicalization of menopause. Essentially, the article says, stop looking at menopause as a hormone deficiency state and approach the symptoms, the myriad symptoms of menopause from a holistic approach where you incorporate such things like sleep hygiene, hypnosis, cognitive behavioral therapy, and sometimes pharmaceuticals like gabapentin. And to not think of the need for hormones as really a key part of treating menopause because menopause doesn't have to be viewed as a really giant medical issue that every woman faces. Well, let me tell you, that's a bunch of bunk. Menopause is about hormones. That's exactly what it's about. And it is absolutely a hormone insufficiency state that's during the perimenopausal years, and it is a hormone deficiency state when you are in full-blown post-menopause. Because what is menopause? It's not about periods. It's not about the symptoms. And that's all they focused on, by the way, in that article about treating symptoms. Menopause is a dramatic shift in the hormonal status of women. The ovaries go through a gradual process of aging, we call senescence, when there is variability in the hormone production of estradiol, the estrogen from the ovaries, and progesterone. But the general trend is downward with occasional spikes upward, kind of like, like that, down with some spikes up. Eventually, the ovaries cease to be able to make any estradiol or progesterone, and that's because you run out of eggs. Now, this is a hormonal situation. The ovaries are an endocrine organ. They make hormones. They make testosterone, which we're not going to deal with. That has nothing to do with menopause, but estradiol, the estrogen of the ovaries, and progesterone. And those hormones, estradiol and progesterone, have effects throughout the entire body, whether or not the woman experiences symptoms. This is key. That article only focused on a holistic approach to treating the symptoms. But even without the symptoms, you are in a hormonal insufficiency and then deficiency state, and that affects Virtually every organ system, bones, ligaments, cartilage, the neurological systems, the peripheral, the central, that's the brain. It affects the cardiovascular system, every aspect of the cardiovascular system, the urogenital system, the skin, you name it, every single organ system. And did I leave out? Yes, the immune system. Estradiol controls the on and off switch to creating inflammation and inflammation resolution and healing. Oh my goodness, wake up everybody, medical world. This is a big deal going through menopause and it's not about periods. Women who have a hysterectomy go through menopause. It's about hormones and the loss of these vital life hormones that will inevitably happen to every single woman. This is my message. Yes, menopause matters. Yes, menopause is a big hit to the female body. Every female will suffer an insufficiency of these vital life hormones. The treatment for an endocrine deficiency is to replace the missing or deficient hormone. It is not to do meditation or hypnosis or exercise. Now, those are really important. I am the hugest advocate of lifestyle medicine, 
But if you had hypothyroidism because you had to have your thyroid gland replaced, I mean, removed, there is no way that the medical system would say you don't have any more thyroid hormone, but that's okay. Just go home and meditate and eat more vegetables. That's not to say you shouldn't go home and meditate and eat more vegetables, but that is not the solution to a hormone deficiency state. You give back the hormone. That's what endocrinologists do with every hormone deficiency state, like hypothyroidism, or when you have type 1 diabetes and you don't make insulin. If you have Addison's disease and you don't make the adrenal steroids that you need, we could go on and on. Yes, menopause matters. It's not just about symptoms. It's about overt and covert things that are happening in the body that impact the quality of life and the potential for even longevity. So don't be misled by these ridiculous statements saying that menopause doesn't matter in terms of being a hormone insufficiency and then deficiency state. Menopause is all about hormones and about every organ system's need for those vital life hormones.